A woman sees a hurt bobcat, puts it in the back of her car. Pretty hard to believe, but this really did happen yesterday in Colorado Springs. It is just the latest example of people doing the wrong thing when it comes to wildlife. Back in June, at least three baby fawns were left orphaned because people decided to pick them up instead of just leaving them where they were. Kelly Worthman joins us live tonight to talk more about this. And Kelly, Parks and Wildlife really has a simple message for all of us. Karen, it is simple, yet so many people still can't seem to understand leave wildlife alone. Yeah, your intentions may be good, perhaps to help that animal, but in this case, the woman put herself and her child in serious danger. It was just looking at me, it had its mouth kind of open. Through the open back hatch of a car, a bobcat stares at the woman snapping this photo, Parks and Wildlife Officer Sarah Watson. It was a full grown adult and it was about this size, so not a small cat. It's the last place she ever wants to find a wild animal. And it doesn't matter if it's a deer or a bobcat, it can pose a threat to you. Let alone a predator sitting in the same car as a small child. So it's very dangerous. But that's what happened Wednesday morning in Colorado Springs. A woman says she found the injured bobcat on the side of the road, picked it up and put it in her car just behind her toddler. They can do quite a bit of damage. They're meant to bring down prey. A child of that size definitely wouldn't have been an issue unfortunately, but luckily it didn't come to that. The woman eventually called CPW and Sarah responded to recover the bobcat. It definitely hissed and growled and swatted. Thankfully, no one was hurt, but CPW wants this to serve as yet another reminder to always leave wildlife alone. We understand there are animal lovers out there. We just want people to know when they do find an injured animal of any sort that's wildlife to give us a call. Now, due to that bobcat's serious injuries, likely from being hit by a car, it did have to be humanely euthanized. Now, there is an investigation that remains ongoing, so at this point, it's unclear if that woman will be cited. Reporting live, Kelly Worthman covering Colorado First. All right, Kelly, thank you.